So let me, first of all, thank you for your time. I appreciate it, Gordon. And I promise you it will be worth your time. Okay. Um, tell me a little bit about your business. You, so you do marine business, right? Yeah, we wire boats. Um, we do installation of equipment on used boats and repairs. We also wire brand new boats as well. <clears throat> so, and I, well, I was sort of looking for too was you know time time tracking and assigning hours to jobs something to make those sorts of things faster and maybe you know, like parts list and stuff like that would probably be helpful to have in one place um but i've got you know i've got a truck and two vans and a cargo trailer so we're mostly mobile um i mean there is a shop but almost all the work's done on boats. Okay, so you go to a marine and then you work on the boat in the marine. That's right. And then when we wire up the brand new boats, we go to like the the boat builder where they're made and do the work and the wiring. Okay, there. when you're saying wiring, it's like low voltage, all the speaker wire and all that kind of thing. And high voltage too, everything. Okay. Electronics, computers, navigation. Okay. And you have a um, Google My Business for your business? The Google what, sorry? You have Google My Business kind of uh, location? I do have that set up. Yeah, I, I'm on Google and I've got okay. Google AdWords and stuff, although I'm not advertising right now because we're too busy. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. Um, okay. So let me show you, you do estimates and invoicing as well, right? I, right now I'm using Excel for invoicing. Okay. Don't tell me um, because uh, when I'm gonna show you this, you're gonna tell me, David, I don't know what I did until now. Yeah, no, I mean, if there's something to make it easier, like right now I've just been, I use an Excel sheet for all the hours to put them in and okay. then for each job. Um, if it's a larger job, small jobs, it's no point making a timesheet for if it's five hours or something. Um, and then, yeah, no, I just type, I just type them all up in Excel right now. Okay. Before I jump into the, let, let me, let me open the screen in the meantime. Uh, share screen. Okay. So let's start. It will be very cost effective for you, this software, I promise you. You're going to save so much money and time. You're going to thank me at some point. We do have marine companies working with us. Some actually sitting on ports and mobilizing boats into the water and out and actually maintaining the construction on boats and doing like a maintenance and making sure that the boats are getting constructed or they're giving them like sometimes just a they can dock the boat there for some time and you know more bigger boats and some other clients uh, as well doing lifting on boats and repairs so you do the wiring part that's amazing and uh, between all the clients we're going to have a complete uh, boat combination and um, i myself am the owner of this company I do security cameras before that for 20 years. So I'm a low voltage guy. And actually this platform came based on a, like low voltage wiring and all that. So I think uh, I understand you. I actually from Miami, so I did a lot of boats myself and uh, wiring and uh, security radios, whatever. And then um, I just want to show you at this point, after I talk to thousands of people like you, business owner, like-minded. So um, I got uh, I got to a point that now we have a solution for everything. So I do want to show you without talking too much. I prefer to show you how it actually works. So uh, step one, uh, clock in. So people have an app. You can click here on the clock in option. You're going to see all your employees. 
when when they clocked in, where they clocked in from. So you cannot clock in on the way to work. You clock yeah. in actually when you are in the job, for example, or whatever is your deal with them. It takes their selfie and uh, it will show you how many hours they work this week or whatever time frame that you want, you can choose and how much money you need to pay them. Okay? Yeah. Okay, simple as that. And number two, if you want to track them where they are, you can click on the map and actually track their location as well. I don't know if that's something that matters to you, but you can click on that. I'll show you that real quick, just so you can see the concept. So if I want to see per job or per employee, I can click here, uh, employee name. I click on it, it will show me on the map. I can zoom in and even satellite view and see exactly where they are, okay? Right, I guess they have to allow position tracking all the time. Yeah, yeah, they, when they upload, they, they install the app, it will ask you, do you allow tracking? Yes, okay? If not, uh, that's not something I can control but that will save you a lot of money by installing GPS trackers or whatever. It is. Yeah. Um, okay, so now we have calendar real quick. Calendar is gonna gives you like a bird's eye view of what's going on on a monthly, weekly, daily, or lead view. Okay, everything you can open and see like the details and you can edit, share, download, whatever you need. But beside that, if I want to understand each employee, what he have to do per day, because from this view, it doesn't help me too much. I can click here on job schedule, and then it will be like ground view, each employee, what's going on with him per day. If it's an all day job or it's time-based job, I wanna see it here. And then I know who is available and what I can add to this guy, because this is just a four hour, let me add something to this view. So far, so good. Or oh, you have any questions? Yeah. Okay. Then basically about the invoicing that you're saying to customers, we have two concepts about invoicing. By the way, the phone number that I called is your mobile number? Yes. Okay. So number one, let me add you here. So you are from Canada. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So let me add you here. Uh, I don't know if my portal, because I register in America, if it will work, but let's try. So Gordon, what's your last name, Gordon? Moy, M-O-I. M-O-I. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna put your number. It's gonna recognize where you are from. I'm gonna put my email just so you can see how it's gonna look like. And uh, let's put some address here, whatever. It will show it on the map. Now, just uh, if we are here already, our customers, we can understand, basically you can put tagging, you can decide how the estimate will come based on, it will say company name or first and last, last and first. How do you want, like, how did you hear about us? So you can check your marketing campaign if you need. If you have multiple location, if you grow, you can add location and you can add as many other kind of fields that you want. You want, and so that will come here. The more you add, they're just gonna keep popping here. Like they were always here. Like if you want to know what type of customer it is, what kind of whatever, you can always add more and more functionality. Okay. Okay. Uh, beside that, you can see a lot of other information. Uh, our, the cool part about CRMs in general uh, is that everything is integrated and sits under the client. It's not like Excel files separately. This is here, Google Calendar there, uh, QuickBooks. Uh, everything is a mishmash kind of deal. So here, everything is organized. The address, as many addresses you want. You want to add notes, you can. Any kind of attachment, files, images, calls, call recording, SMS, voicemails, all the jobs, all the plans, all the invoices, estimates, electronic documents is like DocuSign, reminders, contacts. Uh, uh, you can create like work order forms or whatever. 
you can create asset management so like create qr codes and stick it on different things and and track them and you can do grouped invoices is basically and uh, you create let's say you create invoices for me but i'm i want you to bill me once a month don't bill me on every stupid thing that you do for me just uh you know do all the things that you need and in the end of the month just shoot me an invoice based on everything that you did for me so far i'm just saying if you have this kind yeah. of client you can do that kind of deal yeah i see okay um so basically that's it let's say i created you from here i can create one more thing so let's click save and continue so now let's say i want to build you an estimate i come to you you tell me oh you know david come i want to come to you and see what's going on you describing me the job but i want to see it so you come to my boat i show you everything hopefully i'm gonna have a boat one day and uh, even though people say that they hate their boats at some point but never mind so you come to my boat and uh, you look and you want to give me a quote okay before i do the job i don't want you to just charge me uh, and milk me i want me to give me the price up front so you do an estimate so you can come here to estimate and click create estimate okay it's already gordon and moy and instead now i can have two things going on here i can start typing one by one line item by line item and just add it and keep going like that or i can use like packages so i can predefine i can use predefined packages whatever i want so for example i have a eight camera system on a boat i click on it it's already creating everything for me five thousand dollars done like create bundles and then maybe you don't really want eight cameras you need six so the price will change so now it's going to be 48 whatever it is but i'm saying you already always keep repeating yourself my goal is to save you the repetition and just uh, create quotes in like a split second okay and if i save you time you're going to appreciate me more and you will find value in me so uh, first of all do you have any questions about what i did right now so as far as how the, do all the parts get in here is there any way to integrate that or import it from it's like i've got some parts come from small stores and everything and, and i'd have to manually enter something like that but probably 90 percent of our stuff comes from like a large supplier where they have a full online platform with all the parts and the and our cost and the selling prices and everything very good well, is there any integration to automatically enter that so we don't have to very good question thousand parts into the computer <laughs> a very good question and yes you can okay with any company in the world no problem i'll show you that in a second i like i'm a visual guy i'm sure you are as well so i'll just show you things okay i don't like to talk a lot i prefer to show you and you see the logic and if you see the you see it you will understand another thing here uh, we have a thing called scope of work if you leave it empty it, it's not going to show this part but scope of work is like another line item that doesn't have a price like we're gonna do this and that and we take the panel out put for you all the cables cat six we're gonna re-put it back whatever that's gonna come up as an extra field for now let's just keep it like that i just want to show you how it's gonna look before that so let me save this now another cool part is let's say i'm a boat owner and you compete with other companies to do my wiring so what differentiates you from other companies by using this platform is going to make you look like a million dollar company okay even though you're going to pay very cost effective price so you can add like a front and back kind of images that looks like this for example estimate high quality boat wiring by your company and uh, the the template itself we have 40 different designs to choose from and coloring to choose from you can create any kind of color you like this is the quote itself you can add terms and conditions or whatever you can have electronic signature to approve it and by the way we do wiring we do cameras we do we do we do we do that's what we do now you look like a brochure not just a 
And remember, I did this quote in exactly millisecond to Gordon, right? Remember that? So that's cool. And now let's say the price is, let's say the price is four grand, whatever it is. How do you work actually, Gordon? You charge 50% down and 50 when you are done or what's your take on it? Um, it depends. If it's under $5,000, I don't usually have require a deposit. If it's over $5,000, I'll get the parts paid for ahead of time. <coughs> Let's assume that this is $40,000. How are you going to charge me now? Let's say, what, what's your split here? If it, if it was a $40,000 job, I'd probably ask for the part the money for the parts up front so like twenty thousand dollar deposit okay cool so i just want to show you how easy it is you come here there is a thing called payment schedule you don't need to be smart or even take out the calculator you just click set you click here percentages you put here whatever percentage you want 50 percent. so we're remaining 50 upon completion 50 boom done let me see how it looks like boom okay now the client have payment schedule and he knows that you need to pay 2410 and 2410 when i'm done super easy two separate. yeah I, I usually just do two separate invoices so i'll do one for the parts at the beginning because we don't know how long it's going to take exactly right no it doesn't matter you create an invoice when he pays you the half the invoice is half paid and the other half you pay after the fact, whatever. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. You can see you can do it the other way. Yeah, and you can do it whatever you want. I'm just saying this is just an idea. You can split it whatever you want. I'm yeah. just showing you like the full process of how it's gonna work for you, if that's okay. And uh, so let's assume that you are okay with the, with this. You, it looks good for you. Then you send it, you send it to Gordon in the email. So Gordon gets an email. Let's see how it looks like. Uh, sometimes it takes a second. So you get an estimate. Hello, Gordon. We want to thank you for considering doing business with us. It's 4820. Do you accept? Decline, remind me later. If you want to look at the PDF, you can. So here is the PDF as we build it. Oh, cool. It's 4820. Uh, okay, let me, I like it. Okay, accept. Okay, now before you accept, you can still preview or download. But yeah, let's say I approve. Okay, you choose a signature style and you type here Gordon Moy. Continue. So I approve that digitally. Okay, uh, at this point, it becomes an invoice. Let me show you. And if you want, you can even add like option to take payment. Hello, Gordon, thank you very much for accepting our estimate, blah, blah, whatever you want to write here, it's customizable. But the cool part, uh, look at this. This is now became an invoice. Remember, it was an estimate. And if you scroll down, you can see the signature, electronic signature of Gordon. Okay, and if you want now to even take a payment, let me ask you another question before I show you the payment. Uh, do you charge credit cards sometime? I usually do. I do to accept credit cards, but I try to steer people towards email money transfer or check just because of there's the fees, you know, if it's a $20,000 bill, it's a pretty big credit card charge right so let's say how much the credit card charge will be three percent yeah it's two points so, yeah two points something but so. right so you can come here to settings click on business profile and you can set up your convenience fee let's say oh, okay you put yeah. it here okay in the estimate invoice you put terms and condition for credit card charges there is a three percent fee that's it you don't need to think about it anymore yeah from that point, you click here, go to invoices, very easy. Now I want to, I already converted this to invoice. So now I want to send this as email or SMS for payment. If you want, I can click on that and just take a payment if you call me, but I can send it as an email to Gordon. I add this option. I can decide how much I want to take down payment. 
And I choose here authorize.net in this case. I send the email. So now let's look how it works. And let's wait for it to finish. Cool. So now you agree. Let me now take money from you. So there is an invoice. Hello, Gordon. We want to say thank you for your business, blah, blah, blah. Now you can pay with a card or with ACH, like electronic check. If you pay direct deposit, Okay, pay me the 4820. I don't need nothing else. Put your routing, put your account number, and be healthy. Uh, if you are paying with a card, right? Yeah. Automatically, it's 4820, but there is $144 convenience fee. The total is 4964.6. Okay, that's on you. You want to pay me like that? Fine. You want to pay me a check? I'm not going to charge you. You want to pay me e check? Electronic transfer, wire, whatever, fine. You want to be smart ass, you need to pay 3%. Sorry about my French, by the way, I'm Frenchman. Okay, Gordon, you still with me? Yep. yep. Okay, now we have this tip amount. You can add it or not. If you add it, I promise you, it's gonna generate you more money. Basically, you know, you finish the job. I'm happy with you. I want to give $50 to your guy. They worked hard in the sun. I really appreciate them. I can give them a custom tip of uh, $50, whatever. So now it's 50, 14, whatever. Just, just an idea. You, you can remove it, but you yep. know, if you leave it, believe it or not, it makes money. It's like you go and buy a bagel in yeah. a bagel shop. You're just standing in, like in line, you buy it, and they're asking you for a tip. Why? But sometimes you leave a tip for no reason. So you have that, you're gonna see that it actually generates money. If you want, you can use it, if not, not. So either way, that's how it works, all the payment. Now I'm gonna show you, that's one way of looking at things, if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, now there is another way of looking at things. It's basically, um, Gordon is calling me as a client and telling me, hey, David, I need a service call for my wiring or come and do the job and bill me by the hour, like you said before, or whatever, right? You have that kind of thing? Yeah. Okay, so let's do this kind of scenario. And then you can understand like the, the full scope of work related to that. So let's say I create a new job what are we doing let's uh, let's make it interactive you tell me what the what kind of job are we doing what's the po solar panel install solar panel install okay solar panel install the client is gordon i choose him he will find me on the map uh, what's in the description installing solar panel on a 20 foot boat whatever I'm just bullshitting something yeah any special requirements right yeah oh, i see put them in i guess like stuff i would be writing down would be the slip number and things like that the boats at whatever marina i don't know if that'd be part of the address i guess that'd be a note in there no no the address already comes by default but you can say uh, boat in uh, aisle five, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. When are we doing the job? Tomorrow. What time? 8 a.m., let's say. When are we finishing? Only God knows. If you know, you can add it here as well. Uh, right. Select hour, let's say one hour window. We're going to be there between eight and nine. Job category, this is interesting. Uh, this is a thing that if you activate it, it will generate the job again and again every X amount of time. So you can create a category that's called uh, bi-weekly, and then every two weeks, it will recreate this job and just wait for you to assign it to someone. For example, if you have a maintenance uh, thing or every three months you need to do something or every six months you have some agreement to do something, so you can use this kind of category and it will help you to regenerate itself and remind you about the new job that was created does that make sense yeah okay so you see there is like weekly cleaning for cleaning people 
for every quarter, for more generator companies. So whatever you do, if you want, if you don't, just leave it like that. Then we have forms. Forms is like you can create work orders by yourself, and dra drag and drop create form in two seconds. And then you can use that form for this job. Let's say I want to use a thing called workflow. So I'm gonna use workflow. So when I finish the job, I need to fill out the form. Okay, as a technician, I'll show you that. Now invoice, you don't need to create an invoice beforehand. It will create the invoice on the go. So you just click here. How do we work hourly, fixed price, blank invoice, like the guy will invent an invoice as he goes. Let's do hourly just to understand how much do you charge per hour? Oh, 125. 125. And how much is the trip charge, if, if any? Uh, I'd usually do like a minimum charge of two hours. At, okay. So I don't, I don't do a separate trip charge. So I, I, I some for some customers, I don't bother with the minimum. But for most things, I would say it's a two hour minimum. Okay, so you decide, uh, and then basically the service that you provide, you you can choose here. Do you have how many employees you have? Two, you said. Right, right now it's only one. I've had up to four at a time. Okay, you have only one. Hiring two more this year, so I'd say. So it'll probably be four, between, including myself. Okay, Let, let's basically what I'm trying to say is. Uh, depends on the services you provide, you can you can decide who can do what. Like if I click on this, I have only one guy that can do this kind of service. If I do uh, cameras, I have a lot of guys that can do cameras. Just an easy way for you to like decide who is doing what. So let's say I click here, Joe will do this job and I want to notify my client and my professional, my, my installer. I click save. And at this point, a job is created and you should get an SMS because you are in Canada. I don't know if you got an SMS or not. Did you got any SMS? Yeah, yeah, that's right, I did get it. Okay, what, what does it say? My text message. Yeah, yeah so you, you have an appointment. And it gives me the time yeah, and the phone number. Okay, pretty cool, no? Yeah. Okay, now basically what happens is I'm just going to show you now how it's going to actually look like as a technician, as you going to do the job, let's say, or one of your people. Super cool, super easy. And after that, if you have any question, I would love to answer, but there is much more power to it. But I'll try to show you uh, one second. I'm just trying to activate some mirroring on my phone so you can see it. Okay, you see my phone on the screen? Yeah. Okay, so we have this app here, CRM Runner, you can download that. And basically, uh, it will open. So here I'm gonna show you the menu before. So this is the menu. Okay, this is how the menu looks like. I click here on jobs, and then I see Gordon Moy have a solar panel install. Let me open that. Uh, so I open the thing. It will say uh, boat is in aisle five. Uh, if I need to call Gordon, I can just click here on the phone and call him. Uh, if I want to route myself to that location, I can click here job location and it will open all the different GPS tools on my phone, Waze, Google, Apple, whatever. So let's say I like Waze, I can click and start navigate myself. After I navigate myself, I can click, I'll show you, I can click here on my way. This is another cool feature. And uh, this is, I let know the Gordon that I'm on the way to him and I'll be there shortly. If you open your phone, you're gonna see basically something cool. Beside the message, there is a text, uh, there is like a link. Yeah. And if you click on that link, you're gonna see actually my, my employee that's gonna come to you. So that builds trust as well. Okay. Yeah, 
Oh yeah. Okay, pretty cool. Yep. Okay, now when I reach to you, I can click here, reach. Hey, I'm in the in the yard. Give me a few seconds. I get ready and I'll be there. Then I can click here, start time. Let me move this Zoom thing. Then I click here, start time. So I click here on my phone, start the time. So at this point, the time is ticking. And I leave my phone in my pocket. I install, I run wire, four hour pass. If I didn't finish the job, I can pause it and come back tomorrow and start it again. If I finish, I click here completed. So I click complete. Before I move to the next step, it asks you, hey, before we move on, can you tell me if you add any additional cost? Did you go to any kind of hardware store? Did you bought anything that I need to know about so I can know the real profit of this job? Yeah. Okay, you don't have anything, you can add a picture of the receipt. If you don't have, click skip. So you skip, then it creates the invoice for you. Okay, based on one hour, 125 or whatever you want to do. If that's not enough for you, you can add more items here. So I can say another hour minimum. So I can add some, something here, let me just add something. Okay, I added this as well. So now it's $700 and I'm okay with that. I click submit here. Okay, and now I tell Gordon, hey, Gordon, can you sign here? It's a, I need you to sign here. So Gordon signs like this with his finger. I'm sure that's your real signature. Okay, and I put a note, all good. And I can take pictures. So let me take a picture of the job that I did. Here is the boat. If I want to add another image, I can click here, add a file and take another image. Let's just take two images just so you get the idea. Okay. And I can give each, each image, I can give like a caption here. So for example, I can say front, uh, back, whatever. If I want, I can even take videos, but never mind. Let's click submit. And uh, okay, Gordon, it's seven hundred dollars. Uh, are you paying me now, or oh yeah, you're gonna pay me now? Cool. So how do you pay me? Cash, check, credit card. What is good for you? Okay. So if yeah, you, okay. If you don't take payment, you can cancel it, and then charge him later. If he does gonna pay you on the spot, that's fine. So you can just choose one of them. Again, let's do like cash just to show you the concept. And after I finish it, it opens the form. Remember I told you, you can create a work order form and add it. Yeah. So now it asks you, where did you, where is the head in, the head end of all the cables? Uh, see, where is the system located in the captain uh, place, whatever. What's the password? One, two, three. What's the system type? DVR. What's the residential? Put some other notes. Uh, Gordon is the best. Okay, and I click submit. So at this point, I finished the job. I took the payment. Uh, everything is uh, is basically um, saved. So as you can see here, it was initialized. Now, if I look at it again, as the admin, I always have proof that it was completed. It, I came out for 125 per hour. I finished at 700. Let me see the report of this job. Oh, cool. Here's the signature. Here's the pictures. Here's all the travel time, when he got there, when he was on his way, when he reached, when he started, when he finished, and all the different kind of form that he filled out. If I need uh, some other proof PDF, I can click here. I can download like a PDF. I hope I'm not giving you a headache from all this. No, that's good. I mean, and some jobs I charge travel time on. Sorry, just depends on. Yeah, on and the then job. here you have like the full blown, like, you know, what I did for you. If the client wants this for his records and whatever it is. Besides that, you have like customer portal. Oh, one more thing like cool. When a job is completed, there is an option to send a review. 
So I can click on that. It will send you a review email. Basically, all the time you can do that. What that does, you see, it, it sends you like review us. You click on it. Hey, you know, a moment of your time will mean the world to us. Click on the link below to share your experience with your company. Leave a review. So how likely it is you would recommend us to your friend or family? One, not at all. 10, extremely likely. So anything you're gonna click here, one through eight, it's gonna, you can leave a comment. Oh, I didn't like Gordon, he didn't do a good job, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the only one that's gonna see that is me. If you're gonna put nine or 10, I'm extremely happy. Then it will take you to Google to leave me a five-star review. Okay? Yeah, yeah I see that. Yeah, just like cool marketing tip, just to help you grow a little bit. And, and there is a lot of other cool stuff like that, like email marketing. And so there is a lot of stuff here. You can create planning and we have a phone system. So every customer, you can call them, create IVRs. We have inventory management uh, that you told me. Let me talk to you about that real quick. So inventory, you ask me, I have a vendor and that vendor have a lot of product. How do I add it to this uh, thing? Basically, you can download the demo file here, okay? Uh, so you download that. It will show you how we expect you to upload the structure. Like you put here the product name, product description, SKU, product type, quantity, whatever you don't have, just don't put it. But this is the order that you need to put it in, okay? After you add all your product and the pricing and everything, then basically you're going to come here, you click upload, you choose that file that you downloaded, that you altered with your data, and you just basically open it and all the data will come up. You can put 10,000 products in literally three seconds. Question? Okay, so yeah, you basically just download it into a spreadsheet and sorry, you had to, what was it that you changed? on the spreadsheet? Uh, okay, spreadsheets in general system, don't know how to, it's not all, all, all systems work the same, you know, not one size fits all kind of deal. Uh, you know how it is, you do votes, each vote is different. So basically what happens is you come to AV, Snap, Snap AV or whatever company and you download like some kind of a catalog or whatever company you work with, ADI. Yeah, or, or else I guess I could just download my order history, right? Because they probably have like a couple hundred thousand products. Kind of, yeah, yeah, whatever you Other want. Other than those, I probably only use, you know, like the, sometimes we have to order, we got to order a lot of custom things or whatever broken part from a boat. <laughs> but there's lots of regular parts we use all the time. Yeah, so, so whatever you need, you upload everything, but just make sure that under product name, you put the product name. You don't, you don't upload things randomly. Right, oh, I see. So this is a, yeah. So it's, we just have to use this Excel spreadsheet and save it. Yeah, like well, no, no not it. this. You don't have to use this. This is just the structure. You can use your own. Just make sure that it will structure in the way that product name will be first. Then the description, then like this is the order. Oh, okay, right. So it's customizable to whatever. I'm, yeah, I yeah. see. And you can add more fields to it, but just make sure that you're following my logic and not just putting date first and then this is late because it's not going to understand and nothing will come up. Yeah. Okay. And if you have products you want to add manually, always you can click here. You can decide if it's an inventory item, non inventory. And then you click, you put a name, SKU, is it taxable? You can add the supplier name. You can put description, how much it costs you, $50, how much you sell it for. Uh, here, $100 it will give you even the margins that you work with and links or whatever, and you save it and then you can use it. Any Sorry. question about inventory? Yeah, no, that, that looks good. Yeah. Uh, what else would you like to have in your business that I didn't cover? Besides the fact that I'm telling you there is a lot of more power here, 
but again, we are already almost an hour, and I don't want to talk about things that I, you don't interest in, you know? Right. Does it get into things like payroll, or or, you, or do you, that just get sent to a different program like QuickBooks or something? Actually, payroll, we, it's sent right now to ADP. We can give you, like, a, all the structure of the payroll, but then we don't do the final payroll and sending it to your employees. But we are working on it. It's coming up in the next few weeks, and you're gonna have. That, that's different for each country, of course, with all the tax and. Staff yeah, yeah, but we're gonna give you all the setup, so you're gonna be able to choose the country, and it will the percentages will be appropriately. I guess right. we're gonna start with United States, but uh, but our goal is to actually give a complete solution and not give you the option to go to any other where. So you don't need to spend more money to third party company. But for now we work with ADP if that's a company you know. You heard about them? No, no, I, I mean not like right now, I just have a small my accountants doing the payroll, my book accounting and bookkeeping. Yeah, parties. between me and you right now, because you're a small, you would just click here, clock in. Uh, you see the hours, you just give her the hours or download that as a spreadsheet, you give it to them and, and she will, in two seconds, will do it because it's one person, two people, four people, not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, if I can just send a, a calendar or something, they need to know what days to calculate how much. Yeah, yeah, you just click here, stuff. you can click here on the report and just download yeah. the report. Very simple, right. two seconds, you send it to her, you're done. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, you want to know the price or you want to see other cool features, whatever you want. If you have time, I'll show you a few other cool things. If not, that's fine. Um, yeah, so I, no, I, I, the price is $25 per person, right? That's what right. Yeah. And um, admin, admin is free. Right. So I think it's very cost effective, less than a dollar a day. I guess with Canadian dollar, it's a dollar a day. I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure how it's... Uh, yeah not a big uh, difference there but uh what is it one to 1.2 or something yeah so yeah well, 1.2 or 1.3 um all right well yeah what, what else i guess if you want to show me some of the other features and look out on what makes it stand out compared to compared to some of the other popular software systems out there like what sort of makes this one unique i haven't done a lot of research yet on the, okay so any of them. Uh, first of all, I don't compare myself to nothing because there is dispatch companies, but they don't do nothing else CRM-wise. There is CRMs that don't do dispatch, and there is nothing that do everything from A to Z. So, for example, you can create customer portal, and basically they can create tickets, they can see their estimates, invoices, the client. And they can basically make payments and all. I can open a ticket for them. Hey, you need to upload this file or whatever. So I can show you their backend, the customer portal that they can manage and schedule appointments with you and all. So that's one cool thing. Another thing, we have a chat feature. Chat feature will help you to talk to your employees easily. Uh, another cool thing, we have a call system. You can actually use this phone and call and text your clients with the hands-free. So for example, I click on a customer, I see here Gordon, I click on it and I can just call him from here or text him, hey bro, whatever it is, I can just submit and that's it. And that will be recorded under Gordon account. And another thing is uh, we can create plan rooms so that will mean like you come, you take pictures of the boat and you can start sketching. Uh, phone system is a complete voice over IP, IDR, voicemails, numbers, anything you want. Uh, inventory we talked about, we have marketing, you can create QR codes, you can create a e email blast, you can create different mail templates to, to send to your customers. Like you can actually drag and drop here uh, and create like a template and shoot it to a lot of your customers. And um, we have uh, a lot of different paperwork that you can do, greetings, uh, email integration. We have electronic signature. 
that's like DocuSign. So you can create an agreement and make them sign electronically. Uh, we yeah. have we have bookings. So bookings is like, uh, what's your company name? All Marine Electrics. Okay. All Marine Electric? Yeah. What's your color of your logo, let's say? Uh, blue. Okay. So let's say blue, you can choose your hours of operation and what services you provide and then click save and click preview. You can create something like that, that people can come and choose like what day and time they need a service with you from your website. So you can take this short code and put it on your website and then we'll go directly to your Google Cal to your uh, calendar here and Google Calendar if you want as well. I don't know why I said Google Calendar, but actually we do integrate to Google Calendar, so that's fine. And uh, you understand that part? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I stuff like that might be useful. Um, I guess, yeah, as far as like some kind of customer management for time and planning, that's one of the hard things to plan things because each job, you some jobs, you know, you, you go and expect it to take five hours and then you find there's a bunch of other things wrong with the boat and you end up being there, you know, for 20 hours or 25, like, you know, the jobs can increase in size and, and ideally you want to finish one job after the other. So it's, it's sort of hard to do planning down the road, but I yeah, guess but, it's, but you gotta have like a list of jobs to do in order so that as jobs get finished, then you have that. Yeah, yeah, that will help you because uh, when you build that, it will ask you, look, when you build this, it asks you how many bookings can be per slot. So if you do one, meaning only one technician can deal with that. So if you are busy, it's not going to let the customer to actually schedule appointment because that slot will be busy. But if you have two, three, so, okay, it will let you because there is other people that are available. So that's kind of cool. Uh, beside that, we have uh, packages. You can add it to your website as well. So you can build like predefined packages. Okay, like we do four camera kit for whatever, or eight cameras for four grand, or whatever, your entire boat wiring for only $6,000, order now. And if they order, that's already, they put 50% down. It's already scheduling them. It creates a job, everything automated. Again, I don't, I cannot put it on your world. So maybe it's not a good example for your world, but you can, if you want to. <coughs> Then we have courses. Courses is basically, you can manage a course. So you can create courses and sell them, or you can create courses and make your employees learn about boats and stuff like that and go through a test. And eventually you can certify them by all marine electric and certification that now they are ready. And we have a catalog. So if I come and I want to sell you a system, not like a quote like I showed you, I can actually launch a catalog and create like a visual thing to sell you. Okay, my friend, I sell this and this and this. What do you like? Oh, you want the cameras? Okay, cool. And um, what kind of cameras? You want my four camera bundle, eight camera, whatever? Oh, you want that? Okay, cool. But we have three different kinds. You want the dome type? What, what do you like? Oh, the dome, okay. And your name is Gordon. Okay, cool. So you click on that and that already creates for you an estimate behind the scene. And I can just, what do you want to do, sir? It's 2100. Do you want to, to add more things to it? Do you want just me to send you an estimate or you want me to, to convert it to an invoice and take a payment? What, what do you want? To do? So this is like more for sales on the field, more in a visual way. You have that option. Again, this is options. You don't have to. We have yeah. asset management that basically creates a QR code. You can stick it like a sticker. And then when you come to a job, you can basically scan the QR code and it will show you the previous status of what you did there. What's the password for that? What is the picture of that job or stuff like that? And we have holiday set up. That means like, like in America, we have Thanksgiving or whatever. So you can do in Canada, your holidays, 
Hey, happy Thanksgiving from uh, uh, All Marine Electric. Just wanted to wish you and your family a blessing or whatever, whatever, just to keep your company like top of mind uh, with the client and stay like, you know, uh, in good relationship and you care about them and stuff like that, even though it's everything automatic. But uh, they they would love that if you do that. Um, and besides that, there is a lot of customization you can do. Like you can create tax brackets. Like some parts of Canada, I know that they have like two different tax brackets, HST and another one. And then you need both of them to create one tax. Yeah, and yeah, GST and GST, we have BC. Yeah, so if in your case you need these two together, you can go to tax details and create like a combined taxes and stuff like that, basically. There is much more. Basically, you can click here on settings. We do banking. Let me show you our dashboard, I guess. That, that will be nice. Um. So basically on the dashboard, you can see all the leads, all the customers, like I said, all the tasks. You can do FinTech. We have banking, available balance, credit card, company goals, really everything you want, everything in one platform, the sales funnel, your employees, opt-in, you know, HR, really anything you want, super beautiful. And you have revenues. And how many estimate you created and how many actually converted and what, um, what's the value of the invoice and how much is due. Again, this is a demo account, so disregard. But, uh, and if you don't like something, you can take it off from the dashboard. I don't know if you saw systems in that level, so it's very user-friendly and it's very easy. You click on shortcuts and I can jump to anything. Or if a customer calls me, Hello, it's Gordon. I need your help. Oh, Gordon, let me check. One second, sir. I can type, click on it. Oh, yeah, Gordon, how are you, sir? What can I help you? Oh, I need uh, to create a job. Okay. I need to know about the invoice. Okay. Yes, I see there is 4820. Can I pay? Yeah, of course. Yeah, how much do you want to pay? Oh, whatever. I can do anything I want. Oh, I want to pay with a credit card. Okay, fine. I click and I start filling up the information. So anything you want, easy to use. If you want to go more deep in the search, you can click here on the search and start decide what you want to search and what are you searching for and we'll give you all the results like a list and you can group them and send everybody email or whatever you want. To. So it's very interesting. And uh, maybe I'm saying that because I'm the owner of it or maybe because it's really interesting. <laughs> How long has the, has the software been out? Only seven years. Okay. But I think it's a lot of time in the in our world. But you know, no. too much time is not good actually, because then you have a dinosaur software that may, you know. Yeah, no, I was right. Yeah. I have a client actually that moved to our platform from a company called SAP, SAP. You heard about that? Yes, yeah, yeah. So he told me, David, you know what was my passport before I moved to you in SAP? I said, what? I hate SAP. <laughs> <laughs> because everything you know, to create a customer, you need to like, you know, go through a crazy process. So. Yeah, so, yeah no, know, that, that's definitely not one of the ones I was considering, <laughs> but I, I'm aware of it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just saying, uh, if company is too old, just be careful because then it means it will be kind of a nightmare. And there is, it's very hard to implement visuals and yeah. But that's basically who we are. We understand service, um, and that's basically what we have to offer. Yeah, no, that, that gives point. me a good idea. And do you have uh, some like tutorial videos and stuff for some of the other? features and things made up or? Yeah, so basically you click here on settings. Uh, I myself, I hate uh, reading blogs and stuff like articles, like knowledge base. I'm a more visual guy. That's why I'm showing you everything and I'm not talking. So you click here on training videos and let's say everything here in videos instead of uh, talking about it, 
So let's say I want to understand uh, estimate or whatever. I type ST. It's going to already give me the estimate. It will cut it down to only what is actually here. And I can play, pause, try it out, play, pause. I think that's the best way to actually learn. Instead of reading, reading unlimited million articles, user manual that you like a nightmare, you know? Yeah. Um, another question, do you have any like decent sized stores, like other stores that use your product too, or is it more just for service? No, I have stores. I have uh, actually big uh, Amazon dealers that have like their own uh, warehouses that they store some things in Amazon uh, FCA or FBA. I don't remember what it's called. And then some, and most of it in their facilities. So we have those kind of people. A lot of people use it for different things. I'm showing you service because you do service. But other people use it for task management or in-office kind of operation or, you know, manage of inventory or asset manage, like whatever, just to keep in touch with the customer. You know, it's you invent one thing, but then people use it for completely different things. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was curious about because I, I was thinking of having a retail location. And if yeah. I'm going to have a store, then it's like you might as well do some online sales as well too so i wasn't too sure i mean yeah. that's not hap that's not happening in the next year but it's something to consider uh, but, but in general just so you know i have another company it's called geeks 5g we are a complete marketing company so because we market our own platform this is kind of uh, our style we build like nice softwares and we create e-commerce and then we integrate our crm into the e-commerce that we build so if you want in the future, when you're going to get to that level, uh, like to the level of, uh, yes, I'm ready now, uh, we can talk about it. I can give you a quote, build you a brand new website that will look like high end and integrate like smart technology in the website. So everything talks back and forth and notifies you for everything that happened. There is a sale going on, you get kaching, and then you, whatever it is, you know. Uh, or they want to order like some kind of service call or a product and everything they can do on your website. Uh, even our CRM knows how to white label you. So let's say I'm focused security and I want to white label myself. So I can white label it with this logo and get this link. This one uh, has, doesn't have a background that is transparent, so it looks weird. Uh, but if I had, let me show you one with transparent background. So this one, let me log out of this. So this is how it's gonna look like. You can white label that, then have a button, put it on your website, log in for your customers. And when they click on that, they're gonna get here. And then they can put like their customer, like your employees can put their login. If they're not on the app on the computer, they can do that. If it's a client, you can put, uh, let me find a client here. Let's say this one. He clicks and then he can log into the back end and you can see his estimates or invoices. Oh, here I have invoices. I want to pay it. Let me look at this or let me pay something. I want to pay so I can click here, pay. So it's very easy and cool. Uh, and they can see the jobs you did for them and they can look at the jobs that you did and just go over that. Okay, to have a proof of what you do, whatever it so, is. Sorry, just one, one question on how it works about the inventory. So if I had an online store and I wanted to, you know, if I, I have options, is there a way to get the inventory from my suppliers' websites to reflect on the website automatically? Because like the same suppliers I was talking about before, for example, um, like land and sea mercury marine is it's a pretty big company and they have a couple hundred thousand parts but if they're available online so people can search for things they also have digital catalogs and stuff that that they can provide to your, to your without area. having their own branding on it but but i guess what i was thinking of if i do get that website up and running so that i can also sell all that stuff it would be good if they could, if someone could see the stock levels 
from them. So I would either be, they don't do drop shipping, but at least, you know, you can have an estimate, like add whatever shipping time onto like whatever warehouse they have. Is that something that would, it, it would do, or is that too complicated? No, no, it's not complicated. I, honestly, we are working on, we, we have a roadmap. So our, in our roadmap, because we build websites as well for our clients, and uh, we have an option that we, we're going to have from the inventory that is going to create basically kind of a short code and it will put all your inventory on your website in one click and it will take it directly from your warehouse. Or if it's not in your warehouse and it's just a non-inventory item, it will create an order and then you can convert it to a purchase order. Uh, so we do building that right now. It's not right now, it's in the process. Yeah, and this this is probably, it's not gonna be for about a year that I'll have time to do that. Yeah, yeah, and like, until then, I believe we're gonna have it because we actually doing a lot of e-commerce and that will help us as well. So that's on our road now. But again, you know, it's very hard to build a complete entire every person dream. No, it, it is, and that's why I've kind of just been thinking about this. So I'm not sure whether it's worth getting into that. If I get a physical store location, I'll probably do that too, because then I'll have staff there for shipping and receiving and all that. Yeah, yeah, but we will do that. I believe until you get there, I will be there as well, and we'll get to the destination together. Yeah, yeah, because because that would make sense that, to be able to put all that stuff online. It's just yeah, a matter yeah. of getting the stock off of their website, because like, sometimes they're out of stock and they don't really have estimates so that, that's the only thing to yeah to and i would love i would love if you give me to build your website as well that will be amazing and yeah and all right together well i think that's that's a good introduction for today and like i said <laughs> i am gonna need this i'm trying to get figured out because I'm hiring a couple more people this fall. Um, of course, right now yeah. it's not, you know, with just one person, it's not so bad, but the more people you get, I think the more important it's going to be to have, to have this going. Well, I know it is, <laughs> but I would like you to actually maybe try it for free. It's 14 day free trial. And even if you have only one user, you can play with it and get ready for the growth. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, no, that that makes sense. Um, 